<laughs> I am afraid. <laughs> I'll play. I'll play. Uh, I'll play one that's uh, that's a lot. That's a lot lower, lower energy than that one. Uh, this is song. This is this is a cover song. I don't usually do cover songs. This is one that I really like. It's by by a man named Hank Williams, and I'm, I'm doing it. For, I'm doing it. I'm doing it for Eric. Who plays
I'll show you that there's reason to hope in the spray paint that's all over downtown. So meet me at the diner at six o'clock on every Wednesday night, and we'll get some coffee and pie. Whoa! And I'll smile, tip the waiter, get a ride home. Thanks for the favor. And hope that that's enough to build a life. Is this enough to build a life? Here's one about the desert where I live. It's beautiful. Yeah! It's beautiful but desolate. Woo! Empty and hostile. Yeah! 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 And for once, the whole truth was clear. Everything is due and there's no turn. Through no fear, where they plan orchards or reap barren lands, we're egalitarians with empty hands. Is it justice to split up the dust? We are damned and will never.
My neck, my shoulders, my back. Dude, I fucking spazzed it out last night. Showing Cat who's boss. Mm. Um, <laughs> I really did. Um, oh, Aspen, it just it seized up partway through the workout last night. Uh, it, uh, it just it just is what it is. I went and saw my uh, I went and saw my I went and saw Dave. I went and saw my massage guy. Um, he said my ab routine is psycho. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look. It is what it is. Um, you know, I may have had to turn... I may have had to lessen the weights for cat. I may have had to turn the, I may have had to cut the workout in the ab routine in half. I may have had to kick the shit out of an MMA fighter. <laughs> um, I may, uh, I may be thin. I may be on the thin side, but the muscles I have apparently put in the work. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't magically give you extra strength. It does help with worth at workout recoveries and the build, but it doesn't actually give you extra strength. So, at the end of the day, yeah. Uh, it's, our, it's fine that arguably the best fighter in the community couldn't keep up. No. No, he, he, he can't... Most of you could not do my core workout. Most of you couldn't do my core routine. The it, it just is what it is. Like that's there's no ego attached to that. It's just it's fucking psychotic. Like if you're overweight, you can't do my core routine. 
if you're underweight and not in shape, you can't do my core routine. Um, metabolically, not like that, Wither. They're not, they're not ATP. They're used in the downstream chain of metabolic functions, or uh, dihydrogen t testosterone is, which isn't even what you ingest, or what you take. What you take is testosterone or, like, you know, testosterone uh, sustenate or something like that, which gets metabolized down to dihydrogen testosterone, which then gets uh, further downstream metabolized and is part of the ATP process at one, well, one of the adjacent ATP processes, but they're not used for energy. And just your body's not burning testosterone for energy. It's incapable of doing that. It What testosterone does is it helps you rebound in your workout and it helps stimulate muscle growth. So once you have it, it's easier to get it. Um, and it's easier to build more muscle the next day after you've done a workout routine. But yeah, testosterone is not giving you energy. It doesn't work that way. I wish it did. It'd be amazing. Um, <laughs> Viva. <laughs> um, I've done your pin routine a couple of times. I almost get to the end, Aspen says. Um, that routine, Aspen, are you doing 45 on, 15 off? Um, if so, you're doing the standard deviation, uh, the, the standard iteration of the workout, which is 45 on, 15 off. Uh, so 45 seconds active, 15 seconds break, 45 seconds next exercise. Right? Right. Um, if that's the iter iteration of what you're doing, you're doing what I start at. Um, yeah, basically. Okay, so then do that two to three times. <laughs> that workout, that routine gets done in a circuit, basically. Um, and so... If you really want to kick your ass, Aspen, since Aspen's done the routine, Aspen, or at least gotten close to finishing the routine, um, yeah, you do the you do a circuit, you do to do that routine two to three times, but each time you decrease, uh, you increase the active time. So you start at forty five, the next circuit you do fifty, and then the next circuit you do fifty five. So you only get five second break to switch to the new uh, to the new exercise. Yeah, that's, that's what that routine looks like in its final form, basically. And if you do four circuits, then what you're doing is 45, 50, 55, full minute, no rest. Muscle confusion, hell mode. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a hell of a routine. It, it will kick your ass. It really will kick your ass. Um, so, yeah. Why is that fucking activity feed so wonky? All right. Give me one sec. Let's see. View. Multi view. Docs. <clears throat> God, this activity feed is just wonky today. Um. <laughs> has been damn that's rough amorous you can't out exercise a masochist you really can't yeah we really are that way yeah it was funny talking to dave after um after cat had been there and you know speaking to, uh <laughs> speaking to cat you know dave was telling him like you know how hard he actually goes on me for massages compared to everybody else and it just sort of takes it Oh, damn, that is rough. It is. I mean, it's it's the final the final form of that workout is absolutely insane. Unless you do Iron Man, but if you do that, you are a masochist. So yeah, no, that's it's you fucking. If you're at like Tough Mudder, Iron Man, like ultra triathlon shit like that, you're already a masochist. Um. It sure sounds fun to be able to get to that point. Embrace the masochism. Aspen, turn the lights off. If you if you do that routine again, Aspen, turn the lights off. Put earbuds in your ear and just accept the punishment. Just do it. Just 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 you and nothingness and a beat in your head and fucking do the routine. It is 
transcendent. <laughs> I used to work out on demand till everything worthwhile was put behind a paywall and wasn't left tunnel in the house. Oof. Sorry, Willie. That sucks. Sensory depletion to uh, on top of it. Yeah, madman. Uh, Aspen. Ooh, that sounds magical. Yeah, work. If you can, if you know a workout routine, I have I have an interval timer that literally tells me what to do. That that has a, a text to speech built into it, so I can I can, it can tell me what exercise I need to be doing next. So I create my interval list. I I'm in charge of all of the like programming of it, and then it will tell me. It will give me the te- the countdown, like you know you beep at three seconds, that sort of thing. Um, and then, you know, I know I'm on rest and that all that sort of stuff. And it will tell me to keep me on task. If you have that in the background, then nothing else matters. Uh, all right. Most masochisting thing. <laughs> I was probably the teacup challenge, my version. I hung weights for my weights, uh, for my waist, deep horse stance and watched a Kung Fu movie without moving. Fuck, I'm his whole body. Um, yeah, I've never done anything like that. I have been taking up doing the, uh, the, the like Asian squat or the Slav squat, squat, uh, the, the full, it's called a full resting squat. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been trying to do those just to see like, you know, cause that's, that makes you work too. Um, yeah, like I completely ignored it. I don't even know. I'll have to go back. I have a friend that's into it, uh, into that. He started out with, "What I'm trying it out. I want to try it out." Five years later, he's revolving his whole life around it. Yeah. Oh yeah, Amorous. And, and it, it just, yeah. <laughs> v I call that sitting. Um, I I just have to study the name so I can just do the exercises. I'm almost there for yoga. Could could do that without much lights. Oh, what's up, Matic? Yeah, it's it, it, it truly is. It's a it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. Um, Aspen, one of these days I'll type out my leg routine. And you can do, I often do those. I do my cores and then my leg or my cores and then my weights. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll if, if people are actually using that routine, like, yeah, <laughs> I'll put, I'll add more to it. Uh, or add more to the, the fucking meathead section. Cause yeah, I mean, for those of you that actually haven't tried the routine, the, the core routine in, in the Anarcho Meatheads, there's a reason my abs look as good as they do. <laughs> One, it's because I have no body fat on me, so you can actually see it. But two, that core routine will kick your fucking ass. If you want abs, fix your fucking diet and get the, 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 the adipose t- tissue dealt with. You do that, do, do that, do my routine in Anarcho Meatheads, you will have abs. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, it was funny seeing Cat try it. Just try, just try. He's like, I can't do this. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's okay, man. Um, you want the smoothie? It might be easier just to walk you through it on the call. Um, but you're gonna need a, a text copy. All right, all right. I'll get you a fucking. Yeah, you want to see how insane the hair is today? Like fucking. <sighs> uh, a couple of those damn star moves I can't really do. Um, oh, Aspen, are you talking about the star crunches? Star crunches are a bitch. Star crunches into bicycles is the hardest part of that routine. Yeah, the hardest part of the core routine is star crunches into bicycles. Yeah, at at the 60 count or the 55 count, it hurts. It hurts. I was only into the kind of exercise when I tore my meniscus. So that's no fun. After the surgery, I wanted to go back to playing hockey as soon as possible as I went to the gym six days out of seven for three months. But I don't enjoy it, so I stopped quickly after it healed. Huh. Yeah, has been. Yeah, that was that was really hard. Yeah, it, it's it's the most difficult portion of the uh, of my core routine is star crunches into bicycle. Yeah. Um. Let's see. 
I need to more, do, do, do more Tai Chi and stretching. I need to get my back and hip back in the line. I need to get, do this. This is what Dave and I are working on. The fuck is a star crunch? Dave would kill me for this. Wordy, Wordy, you owe me. That's a star crunch. And so you do that for 45 seconds straight. Um, and then you go into bicycles. It's yeah. You thought I was talking hand, uh, elbow to knee, not hand to foot. Geez, yeah, no, it's a full, it's a full extension, and then it's bicycles, then it's bicycles. Bicycles are knee to elbow. Star crunch is hand to hand to foot. Yeah, let's just say I did that for the whole forty-five seconds as Aspen. <laughs> um, yeah, well, normally I'm not exercising right there with her. <laughs> it's. I'm exercising. Um, so, yeah. And trying to get it on angled, in, angled correctly on camera. Yeah. So, yeah, it's star into that. There's a, there's a segment of my legs, too, that also is like the, the peak of it that you're just like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. I like those moments. Or rather, I like the moments right before and right after them. <laughs> uh, so, should I go back and read what this dude wrote? Like, is it worth reading? What was he, what was he on about? Is he even still here? <clears throat> oh, okay. I, Beast, you know my only issue with that? Ah, he, he's not here. He fucked off after. I'd do it once, maybe, Beast. I do. I would record it once, maybe. Like, just to, to have a copy. Um, But, yeah, I would never do regular stuff. I, I would I would have, I'd do it once as a cop to, like, have a demonstration video for you guys. So you guys know how to do the exercises and what they look like. So you didn't have to go looking for them based on name. All right. I, I, I could be convinced to do something like that it, eventually. Um, yeah. Not high enough. I got new weed and I smoked just like a cor I smoked a corner of the bowl before I got on stream. Just, just, just to make sure. I mean, I haven't consumed enough tobacco product. Do you get high off tobacco? You kind of do. Can you fucking, does anybody talk like that? Yeah, I get high off my cigarettes. Oh, thank you, somebody. Oh, well, they left a message. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. I didn't, I, I didn't mean like that, but thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm a chain smoker. I get high off that shit sometimes. <laughs> Fuck it, wordy, wordy put it. All right, five bucks for the star crunch. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a star crunch. Not doing your exercises unless I want to die. Um, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. They, they, I mean, like I said, there's a sweet spot. Um, Wither would have to work up to them. Wither's like skinny enough. 
because some of them are like really fucking you need a, a, a degree of flexibility also there's like physics involved so you can't have too much top heavy weight working against you so wither definitely could i've seen wither before wither, wither's a skinny little fuck um wither's like me back in high school um but like I don't think I don't think your core would be strong enough with her to do some of the exercises. You gotta haul yourself up. Uh, we all want to do that. This <laughs> Jay, I could do it in middle school. What it says, Aspen. Yeah, I'm pretty thin too. Yeah, <laughs> with it. God damn it. Um, yeah, it, it takes. You literally have to do. It, it's interesting now that. Um, now that I've got like the routine down, now that I can bang the routine out, now I'm starting to isolate muscle control in my core. So I can sort of, I can feel like you, you guys have seen the ab structure before, like you guys have seen it. And so like, I can feel like the first muscle, the second muscle, the third muscle, right? Like I can, I can feel the activation of those muscles as I pull myself or release myself through through the concentric or eccentric uh, um, muscle movements, so it's it's absolutely it's getting weird. Like you can sort of like I'm consciously activating like the second group of like I'm like okay now abdominus rectus, you know yeah yeah Aspen I'm, I've started to form the the link. Eventually, you gain conscious control over these muscles. If you, if you work them out enough, your whole body. So yeah, I've started getting that. All right. <laughs> For two, so I can hear you say indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Kai develops co I can times a hundred. Uh, <laughs> you're starting to master chi. No joke though, that's half of it right there. Um, I Che, we don't. I don't know if he was a fan of Fash or whatever. <laughs> I'll do my <laughs> I'll do my best Christopher Judge impression for you. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't know if he was a fan of fascism or whether he was just trying to educate people on U.S. involvement in fascism. Either way. I'm just starving myself in form. Oh, Viva. Um, let's see. Is Caboose here? Who's went to bed early, didn't he? Um, something like a tanky stand? Interesting. Oh. Oh, fucking A. I was looking at the... I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't... Should have assumed. Uh, you're higher up in the list, Caboose. Uh, you're special. Uh, 35 kilograms in less than a year. Jeez. That's a... Decent amount. 2.2, right? Yeah, so it would be about 15.9. I'm in the hierarchy. Uh, let's see, Aspen's here. Fucking, we could have a decent crew. Who else was Who else was playing with us last night? It was Aspen, Wordy, myself. It was a three man team. Okay. Wish I could lose thirty five kilograms. God damn it, Aka, you can just stop eating. Um, fifteen kilograms to go. Viva says, nice. Yeah. I was thinking three, and I was like, well, who's the third? I'm like, Kai, you're the third. I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, Aka. Celery exists. Uh, no. See, that's the thing, is if you want to work out, you have to balance that diet. You can't just go starvation and, and work out. So you have, to get your, you have to get your macros on point. You have to get your macros on point. Um, I'd have to deal with my mental health and who has time for that shit under capitalism. Pfft. Um, tell her local hummus. Yeah, I could, I could use a snack snack. 
Um, that's a Greg Giraldo bit, actually. It's fucking. I lost about 60 pounds in six months once, but I was also throwing trees for a living and pretty much starving myself. Ugh, it's not healthy. Uh, to be honest, 35K would be perfect. They'd get me right back to where I should be. Viva says 77 pounds down till now. 110 pounds when I reach my goal. Good on you. My mental health is going for walks and getting some time off computer. I gotta, I, you know, mine's working out. Um, it really is. Okay, since my panel is completely fucked up. Oh, swimming will fucking, yeah, Akka, that's, that swimming will fucking do a number on you. You gotta be, if you go after it properly, yeah, dude. Swimming is a proper workout. Um, lost 70 pounds in a little over a year. Didn't drink anything but water the whole time. Ate a lot less too. See, I'd see what I'd recommend, and of course, this isn't a recommendation. This isn't advice. This isn't health advice. This is merely me speaking from my own personal perspective. Um, weightlifting in combination. Because what you should be doing is not necessarily lowering what you eat or uh, lowering the amount you eat, but changing the composition of what you eat and increasing your metabolism. Thank you. <laughs> I just got a pat on the head from, from, a, from the lawyer. <laughs> the lawyer just was like, good boy. <laughs> Yeah, is it, that's that should be the ideal. Is you should be increasing your basal metabolic rate. So that's what you seek to do. Um, love lifting, love lifting, says Aka. Uh, a lot of tankies seem to be under the impression that we're pro America. I'm used to so used to. Oh yeah, I mean you know red. Uh, ate less overall and continued to work my ass off at my job, says Aspen. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Uh, if you hate standard cardio, just lift faster, heavier, less brakes. That'll do it for sure. Yeah, dude, Aka, n nothing gets me sweating quite as fucking quickly. I'm just fucking soaked. I mean, granted, I'm in the Nevada desert, yes. But nothing quite gets me, like, just sweating as just lift. Yeah, you, you feel. You're like, hmm. For memes. So I gotta cook more basil more. Uh, I gotta cook basil more then. Um, only thing preventing me from going back to lifting right now is my back. So time to, uh, time to go, not drown. Yeah. Okay, I feel you on the back stuff, dude, this, this, this shoulder complex, apparently my, my, um, like, you know what? Let me human anatomy. Um, okay. So back. Yes. Okay. So this would just. Yeah, it's just the trapezius. So the trapezius extends all the way up here and then extends down into the rhomboid and into sort of like infraspinous. Um, so my 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 uh, my trap, my right hand trap, <laughs> my right hand trapezius muscle, which extends all the way up to well, actually base. So here. Um, all the way down here, across here, and then down into sort of like underneath the rhomboid and then the infraspinous, um, is just a knotted mess. It's constantly in tension. So lifting sometimes triggers it and freaks it the fuck out. And that's what I'm dealing with right now with Dave. He's trying to kick the shit out of it. Um, tell the spot to the part right between your shoulder and neck. Yeah. No, beast, it's not torn. It's not torn. Dude, beast, if you touched this, you you you'd know immediately. It's just it's just seized up. It's just locked up from a lifetime of IT work. Right? It went um you know how um muscle gets uh, um almost calcified? You know when it gets thready? Um it, you know where the muscle fibers start to get like uh almost uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, calloused. Uh, as the, the fibers build up from that sort of activity, uh, from being seized up and overextension and shit like that. Yeah. So 
Yeah, my tra my trapezius is just absolutely fucked. It's absolutely fucked from like hyper extending my shoulder, my arm to like work on people's mice and stuff. So, yeah. So we're trying to work on that so I can like lift more because that's oof. That's where I hold a ton of my attention. Aspen, me too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I had cat poke at it last night and he's like, dude, that's almost like cartilage. Like it's like that, like the muscle right here. It feels like there's a smooth river, river stone underneath there. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's so tensioned up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beast. It definitely needs broken up. We're, um, what did we, what, uh, what do we ever do before masseuses? Oh, uh, caboose. We've been doing this for a long time. Uh, we have a long time. We've been doing this for a long time, a long time. Um, and you can even see like self massage, self soothing, self massage behaviors in animals as well. We've been doing this since before we were humans. Yeah. You can hire primates, rub each other's shoulders and shit like that. Yeah. It's just, we, we, we just took it to that next level. Like humans do all the time. Um, let's see what happened there. Let's see. Hmm. I had a flare up on my left side last week for a few days. Fucking sucks. Yeah. Aka. Oof. Um, let's see. My traps being too tight will give me migraines. Says uh, Lazarus, is it Lazarus? Lazarus. Um. Either way, welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, it will. It will absolutely because the trapezius extends, traps extends up to sort of like the the base of the skull. So it goes all the way down that side of the neck. So they tension up. They'll literally pull on the back of the scalp. And all of this just goes on you and you get a tension headache. And for people who suffer from migraines, trigger. Laz is fine. Yellow. Um, I have a foam roller that I use in my back, but I don't have a massage guy to help. So that has been, everybody should get a massage guy. <laughs> Everybody, I can't recommend it enough. <laughs> uh, ask what dope me as a fucker. Uh, it just sort of hit me that you could have, it could have always just had a dude press on your muscles really hard. Yeah, uh, Laz is fine. What's up, man? Uh, how you doing? It's the night show. If 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 you partake, grab a beer, grab a joint, grab a cereal, whatever. You know, if you partake, it's the night show. Time to get loose, man. Welcome. U.S. or abroad? Oh, for goddamn foreigner. You want them goddamn foreigners trying to take our jobs? <clears throat> Only things that are legal where you live, obviously. Um, Who did I see that fucking... Hmm. I mean, we talked about Thailand, but it was somebody else. It was somebody else went full bowl, full bore. Um, I need a good massage. I don't have the cash at the moment, but someone who actually knows how to handle a fucked up back would be glorious. All right, beast. Uh, what's up, Metallic Soul? Um, good morning to you as well. That means you're on the other side of the, uh, the uh, <clears throat> other side of the world from me. Remember when thorium was supposed to be a huge advancement in nuclear energy and then just went to uh, too much work? Um, White Snake, uh, India and China are chasing thorium. Um, the reason the West didn't chase thorium is, I mean, it's bombs. I'm not kidding you. It, it, thorium was actually considered as a fissionable material in the original uh, Manhattan Project, but it was determined. Um, but it was determined that util utilizing a material that could also be processed for the bomb as well as nuclear um, uh, nuclear fissional uh, fissionable power. Um, would be beneficial to the U.S. So they went with uranium instead because they could process, as it, process it out for the bomb and they could use it for nuclear power straight up. Um, 
since thorium can't be utilized in that dual role manner, the, the U.S. and most of the West opted for a uranium plutonium solution. Um, whereas India and China are actually chasing thorium. They, they, they're the two that you need to look at for thorium development usually. Um, <clears throat> yes, it was very much that, White Snake. St straight, really, it really was. We can't make bombs with it? Nah, no thanks. Um, yes, Che, China and India both are purchasing that one. Um, can't make bombs out of thorium, so it got scrapped. It is. It, it's literally the history of how it how it went down. It's crazy. Um, Wordy, what's his uh, what's his name? When do I get my anarcho news, dude? Nuke, uh, fucking uh, tactical nukes for all. Second Amendment. I want I want everything the military has. Give me, give me, give me. It's my right. It's my right as American. I want a goddamn. I want a goddamn carrier group. I want a detachment of tanks. Personal use, of course. These are my personal use carrier. This is my personal use carrier group. Just in case, you know, I vacation in 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 the Caribbean from time to time. My carrier group should go with me. Just in case I need to call an inland uh, fucking airstrike down because somebody has violated my 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 space. That's just how it goes. Sometimes you gotta you gotta scramble a squadron of F-22s to fucking take out a village because somebody looked at you funny. Is what it is. <clears throat> I want a pink tank because I'm a girl, says Puka. You got staff for that, Aka says. Aka, how much you paying those plebs? Aka, I bet I could get people to volunteer. I bet I could get people to volunteer. I not only bet, I, I would bet you I could get people to volunteer. I got it. I got, I got five, a five Abrams class tanks. You get to pilot them for free. I won't even charge you. There's going to be good old boys going to be like, when do I get to drive my tank? Yeah. You think I need to fucking pay these people? I could charge them. I could charge people to use those tanks. Damn it. Yeah, I'm generous. I'm letting them do it for free. I lost my drone. Can I get another one? Zamorous? <laughs> Wait a second. You're one of them Swiss motherfuckers. Uh, Gord, um, North Carolinians is, no, Got Punk's Northern, Got Punk is Northern Pennsylvania, not North Carolina. Um, yeah, um, you might not know, but we have congressional elections in France and after police killed a passenger in a vehicle, which the driver refused to cooperate with officers and stop one party leader declared the police kill and the hashtag police. We love you. Uh, la police en vous uh, is trending on Twitter. My country is a fucking joke. You're in, um, are you sure that's the link wordy? Are, you, are, are we sure that's the link wordy? Because. Uh, what's up, cat? His name is Carl. Carl. A few of you now have an urge to watch llamas with hats. But Carl. This dude, it's a great series. Um, remind me never to sit in a hot tub in this town again. Why, cat? Candy man, candy man. Um Kai, we said that at the same time, so you owe me a soda. <laughs> You're part of the world, you don't say Coke? Wither, what kind of weirdo fucking anomaly are you? Is Virginia has Virginia changed? Because your part of the world used to be exclusively Jinx, you owe me a Coke. 
You're fucking, you're saying soda now in that part of the world. What has the internet done? Oh, yeah, pop is unforgivable. Pop is unforgivable. That's, look, I, I will put up with your fucking name brand corporate Coke bullshit. But pop? Are you shitting me? No. Yeah, pop, pop is a crime. 100%. Get out of here with that bullshit. Fucking pop. Uh, no, um, white, white, it actually, um, it extends much further than Canada. The entirety of the U.S. Midwest says, uh, says pop. Yeah. Um, decided to hit my 30 minute soak after the massage in the hot tub outside in 106 degree weather. Hey, hey, uh, cat, did you sweat? Did you, did you sweat? Wait, 106 degree weather. Was the was the air temperature hotter than the water? You sweat like a pig. It's entirely possible that the air temperature was hotter than the water. It's an apartment complex hot tub. So they don't take it that high. Uh, that high. Now nah, water was hotter. <laughs> hey. It's nice to watch this stream with a soda water. I say pop, I say soda, uh, I say soda pop, Giga Chad. Oh, dear, sweet Jesus. Uh, all As all processed food is to a certain extent. Oh, uh, I just admit that it's drugs and not food, as is all processed food to a certain extent. Fair enough. Last is boomers in Saint Lo uh, Salt Lake City say uh, pop. Uh, che, I don't know if you've heard this before, but in the UK we have a thing called council pop. Okay, I know what council is. Water. Tap water that's provided by local city government. So your your tap water is called council pop. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Oh, it's St. Louis. Oh, God damn it. Why did that? Council pop. <laughs> the hell? Uh, it's some weird slang. Yeah, clearly. Clearly it's some weird slang. Yeah, I, I, I got that part. <laughs> um... What are you eating this pride? Well, if you're a top, it seems like you can eat whatever you want. But if you're a bottom, you're expected to starve? Aww. Not this pride. Introducing the bottom-friendly menu from Postmates. Aww. We teamed up with Dr. Evan Goldstein from Bespoke Surgical to bring you a menu of bottom-friendly foods backed by science. Insoluble fiber won't help you feel cute, so avoid things like whole grains, wheat bran, cauliflower, potatoes, legumes. Hold up, are you just fully diving into those beans? The problem with these foods is they don't dissolve in water, which could cause a traffic jam in your digestive system, making a mess of your evening. Speaking of messy, it's a good idea to avoid dairy. I cannot handle lactose right now. Look at her. If you're going to eat something insoluble, give your body about 24 hours to process all of it. Eat me. Soluble fibers and protein are the key to having some good, clean fun. These all digest easily and slowly while feeding your good gut bacteria, which makes sushi a great bottom-friendly option. There's no right or wrong way to bottom. 
But if you're planning on getting peachy this Pride, the bottom-friendly menu on Postmates has the kinds of foods that can keep you feeling good. Are you organic? Mm-hmm. Is that last part? What's he asking when he says, are you organic? What is that? What's that a conversation about? What are your, what's your feel on that? Because I feel like, I feel like it's an implication for something. And my first, what y'all feel about that? I mean, I know the entire thing was cringe, the, the, but I'm, I'm, I'm focused, I'm focused on the last part. Marcus, thank you. Okay, Marcus at least got there. I'm like, was that asking fucking status? I, it felt either status or whether we'd be using a condom. It, it felt, it felt, it felt status or raw conversation. Are you organic? I wasn't. It felt, yeah, that's where I was with it. Not organic, it was not natural, he goes, yeah. yeah. Like, for me, it, it, because of, it, it wasn't the words that they were using, it's the, the timing of the conversation, it's the question. They're clearly about to get physical. And that's usually where the conversation happens. was we 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 raw dog in this so like what's up don't know all i know is that felt like it had implications <sighs> Okay, well, that was a, that happened. We all saw that. It wasn't a hallucination. For sure, we all saw that. I'm pretty sure it got recorded too. So we all, there's like evidence that we saw that. Do we have the Gallup poll? Um, there it is. Okay, so that's a great deal, a lot. Forty-eight percent. All right. Yeah. Okay. So less than half of the the adults in the U.S. now have um, a. D a good amount of confidence in the police. Oh, L, we can't, dude. L, L, I, I can't. We can't watch it again. L, like it was painful here. Um, L, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna put the link in chat. L, you can, you can watch it yourself. Good luck. There's no way we can do it again. Um. the lowest number in this list congress 13 percent congress they have 13 percent
huh, black adults have more, more confidence in Congress than, than white adults. Interesting. Criminal justice system, literally a two to one. Um, organized labor is kind of equal. Why is there that much? How much confidence you yourself have in each one? All right. So military, banks, newspapers, Congress, television, organized labor, presidency, police. There we go. None, none. There is no answer to your question, actually, uh, wording. So uh, it seems that it's interpretable as you wish. No, Marcus, it was conducted by Gallup. This is a Gallup confidence poll. There. Random sampling, 1226. Police is first in Switzerland confidence ratings with a 7.9 out of 10. Hmm. Um, okay, so national adults across the board. Very little to none, nine, sitting in at 19%. So gr a great deal, quite a lot, some. I mean... The not really is sitting in there. One percent of white adults had one percent of white adults had no opinion on the criminal justice system. You know, you see how indicative that is, right? You you, you understand how insanely indicative that is. That one that one percent of white adults are like, uh. -huh. <laughs> like, imagine being able imagine being in such a privileged position that you're able to not have an opinion on the criminal justice system <laughs> you're like yeah whatever uh, yeah a certain one percent uh fucking That's big business. <laughs> the real headline here is fucking big business is not doing well either. Hmm. Large tech companies doing better than big business though. Confidence in institutions. Recent trend combines great deal and quite a lot. Okay, so police was K. All right. Has it been steady sliding or is it penduluming? And what's the lowest I can find? I mean, 48's the lowest. 
since they've been polling since this question since March of 93. That's, I mean, that's a decent fucking track record on it. It's the lowest it's ever been. Looks like it hit a high. Yeah, where did it hit these highs? Oh, interesting. Under Bush. After 9-11. After 9-11, it starts climbing. And then it sort of hovers there. And then it starts coming down under fucking... Obama, a little bit. So it hovers. It's, it's holding near 60, high 50s and 60s. And then June 2014 hits, and we're never looking back, it seems like. No, it climbs back up and then just tanks. I, I can't wait to see the next numbers. Like, when do they publish these? So there is 2021 data. Church. All right, hold on. It climbed back up. It climbed back up. This uh, last year's data is 51. Yeah, it's trending back back up. Now after fucking Uvalde, we'll have to see. Uvalde is going to fucking hit that again. Oh, you know what? It's going to be funny. Hold on. Congress. Uzi, thanks for the follow. Where is their lowest? Where is their lowest? Seven. Seven? Seven. Seven's their lowest. That's Obama. The lowest was under Obama. And then it's just sort of never recovered. When when was the tonal change here? There's some 18s. Early 90s. God, they're all over the place, but they never hit this low. It's like really years that matter. All right. There we go. High 20s, 30s, touching some 40s, again some 20s, and then um, that's Bush Sr. Interesting. Hmm. Well, we'll have to see what the confidence poll looks like next year after Ovalde. Well, in the UK, the uh, uh, cops have convinced three people in a secret court hearing after not informing them for a ten. Uh, the cops have convicted three people in a secret court hearing after not informing them uh, for attending a vigil for a woman murdered by a cop. Oh, wait, was that the, uh, what was, uh, Che, 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 what was the woman's name? I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, and if anyone wants to investigate this fucking list, here you go. Here's the Gallup poll list. Um... Might hit a little, but I doubt the numbers will move much unless it comes out that they really did shoot a kid. <laughs> um, 40. 
Obama was the depression president. He did more harm than good just purely uh, on breaking our hope of change. Fucking betrayed us. I mean, I mean, Sarah Everend. Yeah. Dude, I remember that one. She was, um, she was raped and choked to death by a cop, right? Or a pair of cops, but a cop, right? Sarah, uh, Sarah Everard was the, uh, Everard, I'm sorry, Everard, uh, was, she was the woman who was, yeah, the cop fucking, she was like walking home or something like that. And the cop fucking kidnapped her, raped and strangled her, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her. I, do we got enough of police killings on our side of the pond? It's difficult to keep them straight, but you guys don't have them have crazy shit as often as we do. So they tend to stick. They tend to stick a little bit. Um, I'm going to do that. Launch that back behind. Um, this is after the Supreme Court ruling the cop banning the vigil from happening was illegal, figures. Yep, an off-duty cop. The Met said in response to protect women, they'd have plainclothes cops secretly watching and following women in clubs and bars. They had an off-duty cop stalk, kidnap, rape, and murder a woman. And their response was, don't worry, we're going to put plainclothes cl cops outside bars and nightclubs and they'll stalk you home. Women, do you feel safe now? God, you don't? What more do you want? You see this, guys, right? The femoids are just untenable. You can't work with them. You know, they, they constantly... Jesus Christ, they just this, 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 this. I don't want to be kidnapped, raped, and strangled to death by police officers. Me, Yeah, jeez. So, so ungrateful. So ungrateful. Oh... If you're worried someone's saying they're a cop, uh, they're, they're a cop aren't, just ring the non-emergency number to check, ignoring the fact that the murderer was a cop. It's like, if you're worried they're not a cop, bitch, at this point, I'm not worried if they're not a cop. That guy's probably less likely to rape, uh, kidnap me, rape me, and murder me. It's the fucking cops we're worried about. Jesus Christ. Oh, these people are fucking special. If we don't have cops, who's going to stop kidnapping, raping, uh, rapes, and murders? Mm. Cops is there assaulting a woman. Oh, boy, we just have it so hard nowadays. I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Che, 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 you're on the ground over there. What's the deal? Um, oh yeah, Viva for sure. If I were, if I wanted to go serial killer, I'm signing up for the Academy. Um, you're on the ground over there, Che. What's the word on that dude? The, the, the British guy who went over and signed up for the, um, Ukrainian army and has been sentenced to death. Like... How is your system reacting to that? Do they give a shit? Or like, are people like bomb Russia, right? Like what, what's the, what's the feel? And for those of you, uh, those of you who don't know, uh, the who now, holy shit, you don't know about this? This is how fucking insane it is. Okay, so two, um, two British dudes who went over to fight for the Ukrainian free army have been captured by Russia and sentenced in a trial to execution. They're British citizens. Oh, and a Moroccan national. But nobody cares about the Moroccan. Like, he's, he's from Morocco. 
Like, nobody gives a shit about him. The two British guys, though, are like, is this war? Because they are British citizens and they were fighting legally. It, it, they're not like they, they, they're treating them like mercenaries, of which they weren't. This is this is an actual war crime. This is like a for real one of the biggies war crime. Yeah, this is the, you, this is one of the big ones. Um, and like there's there's there is there's tiers of war crimes. Whether you want to accept that or not, whether you how you feel about that ethically or morally or not, that that. Bloody hell, not seen uh, about, about that. All I've heard is Bojo saying that Zelensky should not have peace talks with Putin. Holy shit. Yeah, Che, Che, Che. Yeah, two British citizens fighting for the Ukrainian Free Army were captured by Russia and have been put through a fucking kangaroo uh, court and have been sentenced to death. Um. So, like, yeah. Fuck, we're still getting tear gas. Fuck them tears. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically, brother. Um, yeah, I, dude, I was like, holy shit, you guys don't even like, you guys aren't even fucking talking about it. I mean, under Trump, we wouldn't have done anything. But under most other presidents, if two American citizens were captured by Russia and put through a fucking kangaroo court while they were legally fighting for the uh, Ukrainian free army and they said, we're going to execute them, shit would happen. Shit would happen. We'd be like, uh, what? Um, Cossack Gundy was uh, made a Ukrainian national when you joined the Marines, so it's a fucking pe uh, piece of shit move. Um... Yeah, like, yeah, this is a thing, Trey. All right, interesting. Fuck. Well, that tells me everything I wanted to know. <laughs> what how you guys were reacting to that? Not at all. Interesting. Hmm. Guys, by the way. The um, the superintendent uh, uh, for Uvalde has stated that the district is going to the superintendent of schools has uh, they've stated that uh, in order to uh, ensure the safety of their schools, they're going to hire more police officers. True fact. Hmm. Yeah, the superintendent says, don't worry, we're hiring more cops. So effective. So effective. <laughs> hey. Um. Oh. oh. <laughs> exactly, cupcake. Um. I mean, one of the parents got through to save their kids. That can't happen. You're right, Beast. You're right. Beast is right. Beast is right. Um, Beast is right. One of Some of those parents got through that line. It's a bad look for the police. Yeah, they really should do something about that. Um, hire more cops to say we didn't shoot any kids. They definitely shot a kid. I'm never going to not believe it. I'm never not going to believe it. This is this is just going in that fucking category of we'll probably never we can't know for certain. We can't know for certain. There dude, there's so much sketchy shit happening down there. Like I'm just permanently filing that in that category. It's like, look, we'll probably we will never know the truth truth. Those cops shot a kid, at least one. Some shit went down down there, you know it. Uh, were those parents persecuted or prosecuted, says it. Uh, Amorous, which one are you after? They definitely were persecuted. As to whether they were prosecuted, I don't believe so. There's no fucking way ballistics is going to be done on this case. This is... Homie, you're never getting the answer you want. Never. <sighs> but, everybody, everybody, if you would... If you would give me a moment of your time. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. 
uh, the one that happens in a court of law. No, they haven't been prosecuted yet. I, 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 everybody, this is a solemn moment. Apparently a man from California armed himself and may or may not have intended to harm Brett Kavanaugh, one of our Supreme Court justices. I personally am very deeply sorry to hear about Brett Kavanaugh's uh, troubles, of course. Um, I, I wish to offer my thoughts and prayers for the entire Kavanaugh family at the, this troubled time for them. But I, I do feel for myself and others that now, now is not the right time to have any potential policy or legal discussions surrounding this issue. It's just, it's, let's not politicize the issue at this time. I, I think we should just let the, the Kavanaugh family heal uh, 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 and yes, I, I, I just, I just want to send my thoughts and prayers in this troubling time for him. Anyway, so maybe if the house was built like a jail, it would be better. Yes. How many doors does he have in his house? Does he have too many doors? Yeah, now is now is definitely not the time. Uh, Stone Doak, shit like that doesn't just go in the commons usually. Uh, that, that belongs in like memes or something like that. Um... It's not the time for politics. Exactly. It's exactly. I, I just, you know, I understand that it's scary for a Supreme Court justice to actually get a dose of reality. And I understand how that could be disruptive to his life, to his career, to his, you know, family. So it's not the time for politics. You, you, Gord, you cringe anarchists are making us look bad by saying we should be outside their houses. They should never get another moment's rest for the rest of their lives. Anybody who's on the affirmative side of that case. Dude, Stone Doak, we just try and fucking... Dude, we've got shelves in the room and shit goes on the shelves. Like, why why are you arguing? Like, just, just, just accept from multiple people within the community that shit like that, we just, we put it in memes for people. Like, don't, don't be that guy, man. Don't be that guy. We get, it's important. We understand the joke, man. Put it in memes and then say how it's important in there. Um, if you're forever, uh, if you're a forever politician, expect forever politics, says Red. Um, yes, I, 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 it was funny. McConnell's out there immediately pr um, pushing for how we need new legislation because the Supreme Court justice, the, the Supreme Court is under attack and how we, we need to protect the justices is if they're not already protected like one of the fucking highest assets of our land. But uh, so Senator Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, the minor minority, a minority leader, called on the House to pass a Supreme Court security bill that would provide police protection to the immediate families of all of the nine justices. Yes. I, I just now is not the time, man. Now is not the time. There you go, man. There you go. What's up, Sh uh, Shinky? Yeah, fuck Mitch. That's that's basically what that's in response to, by the way. Me doing that shtick about how now is not the time. Now is not the time to politicize. Yeah, that's what that's in response to. It's the Mitch McConnell bill. Um, it was obviously a mental health issue that we can't fix. By the way, we'll be defunding mental health even further. <sighs> yes. 
FBI. Yes. But apparently we with their family needs more security. Um, mainly because their family's on the table now. They crossed a few lines. That makes people really fucking twitchy. Yeah. Nobody used to give a shit about the family of a Supreme Court justice. And then the Supreme Court started eroding rights, expanding qualified immunity, giving corporations personhood, taking away bodily autonomy for women. Right? You start fucking around in those circles and you're going to start getting some attention. They're getting the attention. So, you know. Um, yeah, no, Amorous, I know. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm firmly aware that the guy called the cops himself and that there was no real fucking threat to Kavanaugh. The whole thing's a goddamn joke. But, you know, that doesn't fit into the shtick. Uh, and trying to commit some light coups. Yeah, I mean, you know, what's a, what's a coup between a Supreme Court justice and his wife? Marcus, Marcus, you know you can't bring the wife into this. That's like something, something Latin. Um, That's just not fair. You can't, you can't invoke a Supreme Court justice's wife. That's, you can't use her against him. Even if she did, you know, try a small little coup. <laughs> Uh, there you go, Stone Oak. Yeah, just spin it that way. Uh, yes, Aspen. Yeah, they were trying to bury it as best they could. Yeah, no th such thing as a conflict of interest in the Supreme Court. I think that's a Constitution thing. Um, let's see, trash done all right um do my zomboid players want to play because i'll i'll play mm. oh fuck i forgot to tell you guys oh i forgot to tell you guys i have the most important information i have the most important information for you Life of a rock star with Kid Rock, Tucker Carlson Originals. Kid Rock has no apologies on stage or off. In this all new episode, Tucker goes on tour with the rock star and visits his ranch to talk all things politics and cancel culture. So you know that exists now. I fucking hate that I still like Bawa to Bob. Bawa to Bob to bang to bang. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Dude, it's a good fucking intro. It means it's absolute gibberish, but that fucking intro is solid. I'll stand by that. I'll stand by that. He's a total tool. He's a total douchebag. Fuck him. Fuck everything about him. But you know what? The intro to Bawa to Bob is fucking hilariously good. Is this what R. Kelly's fa R. Kelly fans feel like? No, I don't think Bob has raped anybody. I don't think Bob's going around raping kids. He's a horrible person and probably would make excuses for people who go around and rape kids. I mean, he likes Ted Nugent and all that. But he himself doesn't see. So he's a pedophile apologist, not a pedophile himself, it seems like, at least at this, in, at this point. So you, you have a moral leg up on R. Kelly fans. <laughs> uh, best nonsense intro, Kid Rock versus Disturbed. Disturbed 10 times out of 10. Um, all right. Yes, Ted Nugent, Mr. Poopy Pants. Um, also, Mr. He Likes Them Young. Uh, dude, shitting your pants to get out of Vietnam, whatever. Going on a meth binge and fucking shitting your pants in front of an army recruiter to get out of Vietnam. Fair play, man. Fair play. Um, fucking underage girls and then making that your number one hit. Now we have an issue. Uh, Sound of Silence by Disturbed is the superior version. Um, fucking, uh, I forget which one of them told them. It's their song now. Corn twist. I'm not. I, I'm not corn. I prefer. I 
I, I've never really gotten into corn very much. Uh, but Disturbed is 100%. Yeah. Disturbed is fucking... Dude. Yeah. Uh, it would have been Simon. It would have been Simon. I'm pretty sure it was Simon. It was Paul Simon. I'm pretty sure it was Paul. Um, it, yeah, Paul... Uh, okay, so it was Paul. Aspen said, yeah, Paul Simon said he did it better. And he did do it better. He did do it better. A hundred thousand percent he did it better. Yes. No, for for sure. Um, fucking Draymond did uh, Sound of Silence better. All right, let's host start. All right, let me get the server launched. Um, yeah, the server's great. Um, and if you ever see the, the live version of Sound of Silence, um, they were on somebody's show. I don't know. Fucking, I forget which talk show they were on. But understand, listen to that, listen to what he does with his voice. The, the register, his range, from that lowest register to his highest register, and then the gravel he manages to put in his voice. He's sick with the flu then, and not a mild flu. He's, he's, his throat is literally inflamed beyond belief, and he can perform at that level. Draymond's, me, me, David, David Draymond is the best practicing touring singer today. I think that his technical skill set with his voice is second to none. I, I don't think anybody else has the range, register, pit, uh, technical ability, ability to introduce gravel. Hey, Crimson. Yeah, Draymond for me is the best singer, like pre like right now, at least male. Um, yeah, he's for me. Yeah, as far as male singers go, it's impressive what Draymond can do with his voice. Yeah, Beast. Yeah, uh, that man has one of the best voices in music today. He's right up there with Tarja, better than Mariah. Yeah, no, it it is it is impressive how technically skilled the dude who just goes Rah! is he, to be able to maintain that the the Rah! shit as long as he has he's using his voice technically correct he's not just screaming the man's skilled yeah i i'm i'm constantly impressed with what david draymond can do with his voice um all right uh zomboy players gather where you need to gather the server is just launching in the background. Um, we pause the music and we will do the thing. Um, and let me catch up here on chat in a bit. Ooh, hang on. There we go. Didn't mean to do that. Um, let's see. I'm guessing you heard about Ryan Kelly. Which one's Ryan Kelly? I don't know that name off the top of my head. Sorry, uh, Corral. Now, if you tell me what he did, or what happened, I'll be able to, oh, oh fucking, there we go. It's a little, a little hiccupy while the fucking Zomboid server starts. Um, I learned how to do screaming right by practicing how disturbed sings. It helps me keep from blowing out my vocal cords as a team. Yeah. Uh, he was just part of Jan Six that sings. Is he the, the Michigan gubernatorial? Gubin yeah, he's the Michigan gubernatorial candidate, right? Who got tagged yeah. by the FBI. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know these motherfuckers' names. He's not. He's not a big a na name enough of a politician for me to bother knowing his stupid name. Um, fucking Ryan Kelly. I'm like, is that like? So it sounds like a pop star, Ryan yeah. Kelly. Like, you know, welcome to lot. Oh, it's fucking. You know what I'm thinking? Which one's named Ryan and which one's named Kelly? There's like a dude and a chick that are like talk show hosts or some shit like that. I was thinking of R. Kelly just because we just talked about him. I was like, who is this? Yeah, like fucking. It's a chick that used to be with Regis, right? Regis and Kelly. Fucking, she replaced somebody and somebody and somebody. And then Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest and fuck is, yeah, forget the fucking Kelly's name. What's that TV, that morning TV show they have with the former football player? Um, it's a guy who has like the gap in his teeth. Uh, don't, uh, don't know, but we're about to, oh God, is this going to be... We'll see. Hang on. This has done this once before. Zomboid's doing a thing. Um, it, it, it's, it's not wanting to pull up my, uh, my character. 
It's Annoying. it's looking to spawn a new character, which um, we have fig. We, I've dealt with before. There's two levels of fix for it. There's the uh, close it and reopen it, and it works. And then there's the holy shit. Yeah, then there's the you need to restart your entire system. Oof. Um. Fucking well, we'll we're not on air on air yet, uh, but it's wordy and Aspen, Zippy. Hey yo. Um. Hey. Fuck. Fucking eventually maybe caboose. Well, it depends. We'll see if the fucking server starts this time around. Whether caboose needs to bother. <laughs> well, fuck it. Just call it a call it an early stream and then restart the computer and then play Zomboid for the uh, for the rest. <laughs> like okay, well, thanks for being here. Catch y'all later. Bye. Um, <laughs> hey, they got an hour and a half. Fucking good enough. Yeah, exactly. Um, we'll see. We'll get the server going here. Uh, is it okay? Host, start it. All right, we'll see. Um, oh boy, it looks like we have someone that's slower, slow to get past the welcome page. Oh, you mean the guard guy? Yeah, yeah. apparently. Dude, it's never a good luck. It's never a good look. All right. I'm going to move us to on air. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Did everybody's Discord survive the the move? Blah, 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 blah. I'm dead. Aspen? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh... Oh, no. Gordon made it. Did they make it? Hey. Right. I'll be back. Oh, that I was interesting. Some more disturbed. <laughs> okay, beast. Gord, I was in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> A likely story. Mm-hmm. That's why I hear for all of them. Uh, That's an excuse, Gord, and we don't take excuses here. You should have taken your phone with you to the bathroom like a normal person. Oh, no. All right, servers. It was Kelly and Michael with Michael Strahan. That's what I was thinking. We're all, we're all fucking trying to figure out what our weird, obscure pop references popped off in the back of our head when we saw Ryan Kelly. This isn't even, this isn't even like pop reference, like some fucking like 45-year-old white women TV show. Fucking, that's, uh, I'm going to take excuse. Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, it's, it is, uh, it's a name. It, it's a name that just registers like talk show host or some shit. Welcome. Mm. Welcome to the morning AM show with Ryan Kelly in the, vo- in, in the void. Like, it's just, you know, fucking. Th- Good morning, America. Oh God. I hate morning sh- morning radio hosts. <laughs> they are just, they are the antithesis of me. Got it. That's that's you want to know what the opposite of me is? It's a morning drive time radio host. That's the opposite of Kai. <laughs> right and chipper? Fuck it. <laughs> Absolutely just fucking <laughs> isn't that great, Bob? Like, oh fuck you. Oh good. You watch you listen to Bob and Tom too, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bob and Tom number 24. Yeah, I know, right? Dude, they're always they're the most it's too it's 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 laughing guy, incredulous guy, and um plus uh like a uh, 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 like non plus but pl- and the woman. Plus woman. Right? So oh, it's yeah. it's <laughs> the it's the dude who goes ha <laughs> fuck. Are you sure, Bob? Oh guys. That's morning. Jesus Christ. That's oh God, you don't understand. I can just imagine the the radio that, that I would listen to driving to work, and those are the three exact people like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. That's 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 morning prime time drive that's like drive time radio. That's just, I hate it. Okay. So we have two choices here. Um we can break stream. All of you can wait. And I will restart my computer to get the Zomboid server running properly. Or we can just end stream and just go off air. Now, 
people seem to be having fun in chat. So if you guys want to wait three minutes while I get all of this running again after a restart, by all means. Um, I'm just waiting on chat to let me know because I know it doesn't make any lick of difference to you, uh, to you three. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it. You, I'm going to smoke a bowl of perfectly legal tobacco. Uh, Aspen, I will, if we, if we play Zomboid one way or the other, I will be joining you. Um, Aspen and I strangely have the same smoking habits. Um, so Karina, I'm not joining a call just to sleep in, uh, sleep in it. Uh, come back motherfuckers. I just got here. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Everybody stream's going to end. I'm going to restart my computer. Fucking, we're going to start the stream back up. And then I'm going to fucking launch Zomboid. Everybody good? Good. All right. I'll be back in um, a fucking second. A few minutes. <laughs>